Oh my gosh. He's on. Oh! Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin with Salt Strong and I want to talk to you guys about something I'm really excited about. This is my favorite time of the year because I get to fish for one of my favorite fish and that is big tarpon. And the question that we get from everybody is, what kind of rod do I need to look to get to fish for big tarpon right now? We've got them off the beach, they're inside the bays, fish from 50, 60 pounds to well over 150 pounds are readily available to a lot of guys on the Atlantic coast all the way up through the Carolinas right now. And I've seen a lot of tarpon caught from land in the panhandle and over on the Gulf side too from piers. And the question that we get from everybody is, what type of rod and what are the features in a rod that I need to look for to best gear up for that type of species? And I'm gonna go through all that information for you guys in this next clip, so check it out. So I've owned a bunch of different rods over the years, specifically for tarpon fishing. It's one of my favorite types of fishing. Uh, and I will say that across all the different brands, most of these rods perform about the same, but over the years I found three things that I'm consistently looking for in a tarpon rod. The first being length. So I found that an eight foot rod offers the best balance of casting and control over a fish. Whether you're fishing from land, a boat, or kayak, doesn't really matter. I think that an eight foot rod will allow you to, number one, have increased casting distance, which is really important because you do wanna be a good distance from these fish. You don't wanna roll right up on top of a tarpon. By the time you see that fish, they've likely already seen you. So having uh, you know a rod that can offer you great casting distance should be one of the first things you keep in mind. Um, an eight foot rod is also gonna allow you to have better control over these fish when you do hook up into them. So a seven foot rod or shorter, for example, I have a, uh, a jigging rod. Um, this is a six foot six jigging rod for vertical jigging. These rods offer a ton of power, but they obviously don't cast as far. And when I do hook up into a big fish, uh, I'm gonna be at a disadvantage because as that fish pulls a lot of line out, I'm gonna lose more and more control over that fish because the line is gonna make contact with the water the further out that that fish swims. And the more line in the water is obviously going to translate to more drag or more increased resistance, and that is just not good when you're fighting tarpon. So I would prefer to go with an eight foot rod because not only are you gonna have increased casting distance, you're gonna ultimately have more control over that fish throughout the fight. So the second thing that I'm looking for on a tarpon rod is the power and or the line rating. Every manufacturer is gonna be a little bit different in how they label this. Uh, in the case of this rod, this is a star rod sequence. It's an eight foot, 20 to 50 pound. They, they called it a heavy power in this case. Um, some companies are gonna call it a heavy, extra heavy, medium heavy, um, and some are just gonna list the line class. I think this is a more accurate way of determining what kind of rod you need. I think anything between a 15 to 30 pound all the way up to a 20 to 40 or 20 to 50 pound line class is gonna be perfectly fine for most scenarios. So the third and final thing that I'm looking for in a rod, and this is actually really difficult to determine most of the time, is action. So in the case of this star sequence rod, uh, this is a fast action rod, which is great. I mean, a fast action rod across the board is, is probably the most versatile uh, in terms of presentation. If you have the ability to, and you're using live bait almost exclusively, and you're gonna be throwing a little bit smaller presentations, like you know maybe a four or five inch pilchard or scaled sardine, or a pass crab over on the west coast of Florida and the Gulf Coast, those lures are so, or those, those bait presentations are so light that you might need to go with a slightly slower action rod so that you can get the casting distance that you really need. Otherwise, if you're gonna be using a mullet, a croaker, or a bigger bait fish presentation, you can get away with a fast action or extra fast action rod. So really, with that in mind, I'd say just know what bait presentation or lure presentation you intend on using for tarpon and find a rod that's going to best fit uh, find a rod with an action that's gonna best fit that type of presentation. A couple other final notes uh, to consider on a rod are the type of guides that are used. So this rod right here has a traditional 
Fuji Guide Train. Fuji is the company that provides all of the uh, the frames and the inserts. This is also a Fuji Guide Train, but this is a tangle free or K frame uh, style style of guides. Now, because of this angled upward guide, their intention was to create a guide system to help prevent line tangles or I guess wind knots. I don't know that it's made much of a difference uh, when it comes to line tangling. In terms of casting distance, I guess the K-frame angled guides offer a little bit superior casting distance, but it's not by much. Meaning, if you find a rod that has a traditional single or double footed guide system where the guides are at a 90 degree angle from the rod, as opposed to a guide system where there's a little bit of an upward angled tip to the frame, um, with this being a little bit superior in casting distance, if you find these, great. As long as it lines up with the length, power, and action that we discussed, I think that's a great benefit to have, but I don't know that it's a deal breaker. And the same is true with whether you're fishing with a cork handle or you're fishing with an EVA foam handle. Um, you know, most boat rods, uh, and some in the eight foot class, are gonna have this EVA foam handle, and in terms of long-term wear and tear, uh, they, they last a good bit longer than a traditional cork rod. But to find an eight-foot tarpon rod, you know, if we're gonna call it a tarpon rod, most of these eight-foot rods are gonna be a cork handle. It's just gonna feel nicer. Um, I mean, I've dunked these over the years, and I've had a lot of fish slime on them, and just some basic maintenance has kept them in pretty good shape, so I don't know that it makes that much of a difference. But if you do find an eight foot rod with the right power and action that you're looking for, this material is going to last a little bit longer than traditional cork. So these are just a couple extra things to keep in mind during your rod selection process. So I hope you found this video helpful and that it gives you a good foundation of what to look for for your next tarpon rod. Guys, reach out to us with any questions you might have. Let us know about your experience fishing for tarpon, or even if it's your first time fishing for tarpon, we want to hear from you and let us know any questions you might have so that we can help you be more successful on the water. Head on over to saltstrong.com and reach out to us. And if you're new to SaltStrong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you're going to start catching more fish in less time. And we do this by providing you with our premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. So to learn more, head on over to saltstrong.com and we will see you in the insider family soon.